My name is Richard Nechi. I'm the executive director of EPN. EPN is a network uh, organization with more than 133 members. And among the members, to give you the picture of what is going on here, we have Christian F associations, we have drug supply, faith-based drug supply organizations, but also we have uh, health system strengthening partners and faith-based organizations. Yeah, so um, we are here because every two years EPN organizes a biennial forum which bring together all our members from different countries and we decide on what is the emerging, emerging issue, health issue to address. So for this year we decide to address the future of healthcare in the global south. But the, the emphasis will be on the church health system. As you know, the church health system in Africa account uh, up to 40% of the health system in, the, in Africa. So church is playing a, a key role in the, the health space. And uh, in this topic, we would like to bring our members after the pandemic to learn from each other. We are expecting uh, strategies and approaches to be prepared for future pandemic. So it's about future of healthcare, future pandemic preparedness, and how do we prepare our supply chain? How do we prepare our health facilities? to be able to address those future challenges. From this forum, oh, there were several lessons. I think the most important one is that we really have to work together. And we have to exchange ideas and learn from each other. There were a lot of good examples of what partners have implemented, specific projects, specific activities, for example, on quality assurance. We use a suitcase-based laboratory, which is the mini lab, and it's used by um, more than 15 organizations in our network, and there we also exchange a lot of um, ideas, and um, it's on quality testing of medicines to detect substandard and falsified medicines in, the, in 13 countries in Africa. So that is one example. Another one is on poor procurement. I must say this conference has been very fruitful. I've learned a lot from other countries the way they are performing. For example, yesterday we had a session about antimicrobial resistance. I saw, I learned a lot from how other countries are performing. Like they are, initi they are literally investing everything towards that. So I intend to borrow some of the ideas and take them back home. I'll try as much as I can to work with our supervisor from CHAM. At least the ideas that we've learned, maybe we can try applying them to our facilities as well. I've admired their teamwork. Like they seem to be very strong. They strongly work together. And also, I've been inspired by the way our friends are doing with quality. Their game is tight. They, it seems that most of them have mini lab, which ensures that the medicine that I used are really not falsified and are of good standards. So I've been inspired and I really like to learn more about it and uh, maybe implement it at our own facilities. I'm coming from Zambia. Uh, I came under CHAS, which is Church's Health Association of Zambia. Uh, I found myself here as an EPN beneficiary. I've been sponsored by EPN for my bachelor's degree in pharmacy. Um, I've been sponsored from the first year. Uh, I had a diploma, but I went to do the degree and I had challenges um, with the finances. So when I saw the advertisement about EPN scholarship, and me having been working at the Mission Hospital, 
I took it as an advantage, of which I applied through my local organization, which is just Health Association of Zambia. And fortunately enough, I was privileged. I was one of the, the two from Zambia who were given the scholarship. In my first year, uh, I think the first time uh, I went to school, I was not able to pay for my school fees. I only paid half of it, and that was minus my other requirements which were needed. So I was too much struggling until EPN came in to sponsor me. So I'm here for the forum, which uh, I take it as an opportunity to meet with other colleagues. There's one from Malawi, she's also a beneficiary. So it is an advantage for me. Uh, EPN has made my dream come true. I've really desired to be a pharmacist. But without EPN, I, I don't think I would have achieved this because I really struggled financially until EPN came in through CHAS. So I really appreciate my organization from Zambia CHAS and also the hospital where I'm coming from. CHAS has been a member of EPN for over 10 years. I'm also privileged to be a board member of EPN. I think this is timely for us at Chasu, being that we are starting to have corporate a drug supply unit and um, we have benefited a lot from EPN in terms of capacity building, in terms of getting evidence-based information to share with our member health facilities around pharmaceutical support and we have also implemented an IPC project. Mm -hmm. So I see, see this as a, an opportunity for continuation of the mm -hmm. support, mm -hmm. which we have benefited greatly from. This has enlightened me. It was a great interaction. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of engagement, networking. The, the, the topics were very, very relevant. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's, it's, it's very, very much um, uplifting for me, especially coming to a forum like this, you, you're not quite sure what it will entail. But I think it's good use of my time. I've learned a lot, especially in terms of um, operating a drug supply unit. As, and then looking again how you can ensure that you have access to healthcare um, um, uh, pharmaceutical serving the population, especially member health facilities, and then also not looking so much at the profits, but also looking at how you can sustain a drug supply unit. I've also gained a lot around um, some of the challenges, so it will not be like a shocker for me again in terms of operating a drug supply unit, and also learned a lesson on how to mitigate some of this mix. So I, I feel very confident going back I feel um, much more capacitated. Mm -hmm. I feel much more enlightened. It has been an eye-opening session for me. And I believe when I go back, I'm sure Chasso is in the right footing mm -hmm. to start and to succeed. It's cross-cutting churches first, because um, the Christian F associations are developed or built by different congregations, Catholics, Anglican, Protestants, so the association in the country bring all those uh, partners together to have a coordination team of the health system. And for EPM, this is a very good way to, to reach out to the, 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 the community because we are using the, the, the channel which is dedicated to coordinate health uh, services in our church system. Thank <laughs> you.